We're gonna have a fishing tournament between a $10,000 bank fishing setup that can cover ground fast and a $10,000 boat fishing setup that can actually see fish. Whichever setup catches the three biggest fish from these three ponds will be crowned the champ. However, there's a twist. At pond one, we can only use bottom baits. At pond two, we can only use moving baits. And at pond three, we can only use top water. So let's go ahead and find out right now which setup is the best for catching fish. We made it to the first pond, guys, and now it is time to decide who gets the bank setup and who gets the boat setup. In order to do so, we are going to actually have a staring contest in three, two, one, go. That will not break. <laughs> I can hold it. I've never can looked so it. intensely into Noah's eyes bro, before. Bro, you had your hat too perfect, bro. I gotta take it. <laughs> he always whips out the rock, paper, scissors, and I'm like, the staring contest. Like, we gotta win. And no, that was the hardest one yet, Fletch. What in the world? Well, here you go. Here's your consolation prize. Thank you, sir. You get the bank set up. You got the KTB combo. Yeah, hey, I so. like that. That is my favorite part, man. You, know, you ain't, you ain't doing that. too bad. Oh, bro, look at this match session right here, bro. You got the mod, the braid, and everything. Everything, man, we're rocking, Fletch. Got it all, dog. Are you jealous? I'm jealous. Maybe it's good that you're a little funny looking and I have to Maybe that's a good thing. Dude, I ain't that funny looking. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just you know. a little bit. All we gotta do is start the timer. 30 minutes starts now. Right. Now. There we go. <laughs> all right, Fletch. Fletch don't know what he's about to go up against, man. He's got me with the bank fishing. And look, we got an extra large backpack full of goodies. It's about to go down, boys. The good news, guys, is Noah sucks at all the mini challenges that we start these challenges with to decide who gets what. The bad news is he's actually good at fishing. So we are going to have to work to win this challenge today. I'm glad we got the boat though. That's gonna give us a huge advantage. We just gotta get our soft plastics tied up and then we can get start fishing. We only got 30 minutes though before we gotta switch spots and switch to moving baits. All right guys, we're gonna run over here to this little point. By the way, when I meant run, I'm definitely not running boys. I kinda, kinda did something to my leg and I ain't feeling it, but this is a money spot, let me tell you. There's a lot of fish. There's a big flat right off this point, and we shouldn't have a problem getting the bite. We're starting off with the bottom baits, so we're gonna go ahead and set this tackle bag on this little bench right here and get to digging. Let me go ahead and cut this off. That's cut off. Now we gotta get into our terminal tackle box. It would've been nice if we already had a Texas rig rigged up. That would've been a big brain move. I don't know if Noah's got one or not. It looks like he's rigging up as well. Bullet weight stopper. And now we're gonna need a three-aught hook is what I'm gonna go with. Oh my God, I'm an idiot, guys. I totally forgot my bullet weight. <laughs> getting ahead of myself. I don't want to fish that weightless. Let's get a quarter ounce of bullet weight. That is much better. <laughs> I knew we were missing something. What's going on, folks? We about to put Fletcher to the dust, man. Right now, from the bank, we don't need a boat, and we gonna still catch some big fish. So just a little bullet weight, little tungsten, and then I'm gonna look in that little bag and see our options that we can put on this. I more than likely might go with a Senko, though. I think that might be the move. Cut our tag in, and we're ready. What's up, Fletcher? You still tying, man? I tied it without a bullet weight to the start. Oh, that's amazing. You gonna catch one, you know, right up under you, you know? <laughs> he ain't about to do jack shit. Boy. Just imagine though, bro. Just imagine. I've caught a fish there in the past. Are you nervous, Fletch? Dude, fishing gods are on my side today. I think I had this one in the bag, if I'm being completely honest. So let me ask you this, Fletch. Can I walk anywhere? I'll walk. Yeah, dude, you can go wherever you want. Hey, if Tyler knows anything, we had about the craziest fish catch ever happened about two days ago. It was off this bridge and we're gonna go catch them right now. So let's go ahead and get started fishing, guys. We got no time to waste. And if we got the boat, we might as well use it to its full capabilities. Let's go ahead and put the live scope in here and we might even be able to scope a fish. We're gonna get started right here on this little buoy. There's actually a piece of structure underneath that. I don't know if it's just something that holds the buoy up. Oh, first cast. No way. Oh, we lost him. Let's try that again, see if there's another one. Oh, guys, oh, check this out. Look at the live scope right here. Look at that. Okay, we're gonna make use of this. We are going to make use of this. Looks like the fish are like the middle of the water column. We got two or three bass right underneath the boat. I mean, we got a lot going on. We're actually gonna try swimming this thing. Believe it or not, I think that might be the best way to get a bite right now. Oh, there's the thump. Oh, 
Golly, dude. Thought I was gonna actually hook set into something there. A fish bit it and he just let go of it. I yanked it out a little hard there. Gave it a little too much of a tuggy. Shredded that thing to bits. Let's get another one tied on. I know we're fishing the bottom bait, but one thing that we gotta look for over here, we got this little, these little bushes on the banks. Got a couple lay downs. There should be a fish hanging out. Should we try to catch them off this? I definitely could do. I saw you do it the other day. You caught two on one lure. I can flip it better from here than I could up on the bank. These fish are lucky it's not sunny out and it's cloudy because I might be able to see them. All right, let's see if there's some fish back over here. We threw off that little bank, but we didn't have any bites. And I saw Fletcher miss a fish over here. I think I'm gonna sneak up on him. I actually wanted to start in that corner, but we're gonna go over here in this corner. There should be some fish on the dock. Let's get a quick time check on this first pond. We got 16 minutes left, 16 and a half minutes. Neither of us have caught a fish. Got a few bites. I don't know how I feel about this bank, guys. It's real shallow. We might go out here, see if we can't scope some fish like way out here. When you're out on the boat with the right setup, it can be a huge advantage to actually be able to like find and locate some fish. Let's keep on moving. Keep on trucking along. Boys, I don't know what these fish are doing. They're acting weird. I'm telling you though, if we had a moving bait or a top water right now, they'd be smacking that thing. Especially right now, it's cloudy conditions. Those fish would be roaming a little bit more, moving. It's money for a moving bait. That doesn't mean we can't catch them on this bottom bait, though. We're gonna get one in a minute. We just gotta be patient. All right, boys, we're gonna pack up real quick and go a little bit further down this bank. So all we really need is our hooks and weights and our Sanko's right there. But we're gonna hop in the golf cart real quick. Keep moving down. There's one. What? Dude, I, I'm fishing for some Houdini fish right now. Just pinched off my pinchers. What in the world? All right, guys, I am done playing games now. They've made it personal. These bass have struck a nerve that's just not comfortable being struck. We're about to unleash all my fury on them. They don't know what they just got themselves into. We're about to be whipping 10 pounders left and right. Come on. All right, get her all loaded up. We are good to go, pimps. We're gonna go deep in the woods here. Speed racer, baby. Oh my goodness. Dude, I swear I got off on two foot off. It's a bumpy road, man. Guys, there's a pipe. I can't even believe Fletcher didn't fish it. There's a pipe somewhere right here. Yeah, look at it right there. You see that? I don't even know how I'm gonna fish that. All right, I'm gonna just tell you all right now, there's nowhere to cast. But if I can somehow squidabble my worm under this branch and catch a fish, that'd be pretty crazy. There is like no opening, guys. Like, it's pretty bad, but I I'm gonna do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, dude, I thought I had a bite right away. I'm feeling something. There's like a little lay down or something there. I want to be able to get right in front of that pipe, but I just don't think that there's like an opening. I think I can snipe that. <laughs> it's funny because I can't see it from this angle, but I have to go at this angle, so. Okay, this is very risky. Oh my gosh, yeah, that is not it, Noah. What are you doing? I gotta lock in, boys. All right, boys, we're gonna keep on going down, see if we can find some more openings. All right, let's start working down this bank line. Oh, there they are. <laughs> Do you think you can slip in right there? What are you doing, man? We're trying, man. You haven't had a fish? If I had a chatterbait right now or a, a two tap, it would be a different story. Excuses, man, excuses. Just wait until we get onto the moving bay category. You are French toast. Oh, I know, they're gonna be eating. <laughs> no, it's like driving around I hear him talking. He's like, we gotta be Fletcher to this spot. I'm like, dude, I got, I got plenty of stuff to fish that you can't even sniff. You can't even think about fishing it. Unless you wanna go for a swim, you ain't touching a lick of this bank. I'll let you have your tiny little opening. This cloud cover is not helping us, guys. We need, we need a little sunshine right now for these fish to get up under these trees. Honestly, the best place that I saw was the first spot that we started casting. We might have just have to go back there. All right, we found a little crevice. Here we go. That is not not really a crevice, but it's something we can, yeah, we can, we can squid dabble our way in. That is the one perk about having a boat, man. When you're trying to do this and there's too many trees, it's just it's definitely not the easiest. Let's see. Can I get in here? Maybe I'll just like crawl in. Dude, I can't remember exactly where I'm at right now, but I want to say this is where we used to catch a lot of fish. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to make a run because we're running short on time. Let's check the timer, see what we got. Looks like we got about nine minutes left, so let's go make a long run to right where we started and got those few bites. There he goes. Noah's hauling on that trail on the golf cart. <laughs> that trail is so rooty and bumpy. I was like, he's probably getting bucked around like a dang popcorn kernel. All right, so this is where we started. We're going we're gonna to literally keep going a little bit further. There's a couple crevices up here that I think are prime. 
That's why Fletcher tried to distract me. He was like, hey man, come on this side over here. And I'm like, he knows what's up, man. He knows the fish are over here. Dude, we could try it. Not the most ideal, but it's worth a cast. All right. What if I park the golf cart right where I need the cast? Dude, there's a spot like a little bit more down. Oh no. I just got hit right there. He probably didn't like it because I got all this slop on it, dude. Mm-mm-mm. Fish don't want that slop, man. They want that clean bite. We're not gonna splash in front of them. We're just gonna like reel it in, drop it down. Fish did not feel big by any means, but. No, dude, it was, oh my gosh. It was every bit of like two and three quarters. Okay, here we are. We're back at where these buoys are and here's all those good dots I was seeing on the live scope. We should be able to get one right here. Sounds like Noah might've just got one. I heard a big, whoa. Well, this is a little something else. Let's try reeling this up near the surface again. If we get one like that. Dude, we got them right under the boat. I'm just gonna drop this thing straight down, see what happens. Man, it just ain't working. <laughs> we got, looks like five minutes left. So let's go ahead and try the bridge and hopefully we do not zero on this pond because that would just be heartbreaking. Oh boys, I cannot believe that, man. That was our first good bite. I don't want to blame it on my angle right here, but then again, it could have been. We're in a weird spot. Gosh, I knew he bit me. That sucks, man. He's not biting again. I, I yanked him all the way out of the water. I will say, boys, that's a good sign, though. There might be some more fish on this side. It's like the first good bite I've had this whole time. I'll throw it at an angle. I can't even see where my bait just landed. See, that's where I wanted to fish, like the dock side, because we caught some there the other day. Caught them on top water, too. Right, let's go down a little bit more. We're going to take like two or three casts on these pillars and make a long run to fish that tree line at the very end, right before the time runs out. And I think we should be good if we can get one down there. Oh, the fish, are, they're blowing up here behind us. They're blowing up, they're blowing up. Hold on, hold on. Oh, come on, eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh yeah, there's one. Yes, yes, we're on the board, finally. Golly, we could not afford the zero there. Stay down, that's what's up. <laughs> finally, fish numero uno for us. With time to spare, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's get a weight on this bad girl, see what she weighs. Stick her down there. Let's grab the scale. Let's get that weight. One pound, 10 ounces. Not quite what we wanted, but it's something. Pound and a halfer with some change. Okay, okay, they're still popping over here. Maybe we can catch another one. We're making it happen, boys. We're making it happen. <laughs> I just need to not get embarrassed by that one. It's happened too many times. Dude, I swear I'm gonna break my rod by the end of this. But I think there's one other good opening down here. Hopefully we have a good fish, so keep on moving. Has my hat been like this the whole time? Sorry, boys. This is honestly the best looking spot we fished all day. It's got a little bit of water on it and you got some lay downs. I understand that it's cloudy out, but there's gotta be a couple fish right here. And the fact that we saw that fish up shallow, there's gotta be more. I wish I could just reel this thing, dude. I see so much bait flickering. Never had such a hard time trying to catch a little blue ball, dude. You see him flickering out there, Tyler? Everywhere. That's a big one. What just happened, dude? The clock's ticking. We're getting down to the, the final probably two or three minutes. That's probably all we have left. I'm scared to look at the clock. I just want to V-line straight to this bank, get a few casts in and hope for the best. There was a fish right there and he just took off. I don't know if he's on my rod or not, but he was right there. I can't even believe that, man. I'm having the worst luck, boys. All right, boys, we're gonna keep on hunting around. We're gonna catch one, I promise. All right, boys, we drove back over here. We, we don't have much time. We're gonna run across this bridge, just do a little prance. Go over to this point, big cypress tree, big fish. Okay, hear me out. 12th time I knocked my rod on the golf cart. All right, let's get across. All right, we made it. Looks like we're gonna at least get a few casts right here. Last time I fished this big, I caught a five and a half, almost six pounder. Scale was broken, so I don't know exactly what she weighed, but she was every bit of five. And I've caught plenty of six, sevens, eights, a nine or two, some big boy territory land of the giants all right boys we're ready to catch a giant dude that looks money first cast over here just catch a monster that's called risking it for the biscuit i've been waiting all day to make this flip and guess what this is a game over this is it gotta be a fish up on this cypress tree i was eyeballing it from the other side come on fish digging dude he's freaking nice too mm, let's go baby you got one Oh no, no, we just caught one. No. Oh no, that is not what we needed, guys. That is a good one right there. He's skinny, but that is a good fish. 
Bro, the moment this bait hit the water, that puppy just slammed it. Oh man, I don't know if she's gonna hit three. That should be a easy three pounder, but it's just so skinny. Such a thin and long fish, big head, but that's a pretty one, baby. We on board. All right, we got her zeroed out. Let's see what we got. 2.93, I'll take that. Almost a three pounder. She just need a little bit more weight. Still a pretty fish, beautiful. Long bass, man. Let's get her back in the water. Thank you for biting, baby. That was a sick eat. Thank you. There she goes. Heck yeah, boys. What you weigh? 293. Dang, boy. That's not what we needed. We're coming down to the final seconds of this pond, and Noah's got a pretty substantial lead. This is not good. Come on, I just got thumped. Oh, come back, come back, baby. Oh, guys, we got fish right underneath the boat. What'd I tell you? <laughs> What'd I tell you? Straight down underneath the boat. Where'd they go? Uh-oh. Sounds like Fletcher's getting a little nervous, man. We definitely just popped off one bigger than his. But guess what? We can still make a couple more casts here. We have just a little bit of time left. Dude, that bite was so sick. That fish, guys, I threw in there and he instantly just slammed it. It's like the first time I threw in there, I went over like a little limb, like a tree limb. A second time I threw in there, he instantly just hammered it. I mean, he had it and he was taken off to the right. And look at this. There's like fish chasing bait right there. I think there's a lot of fish on this point. I've been eyeballing it since we've been out here. Ooh, dude, please pick it back up. Hold up. There was literally just 20 fish underneath me. Oh, they're on my bait. They're looking at it. Dang it, dude. <laughs> oh, no. I don't think we have but like 30 seconds left. Fletcher just said we had 30 seconds left. We gotta make a couple casts on the side of the tree. 30 seconds, boys. That means maybe two casts right here. I feel it. Come on, fish. It looks like we might have won this challenge. First part of the challenge, but still want to catch another one here. All right, this looks like it's gonna be my last cast. Let's make it count. Come on. And we're in a tree. That's great. How about let's not do that? Come on. Oh, there goes the timer. Yes, sir. We got that first round, baby. That's how you want to get out of the gate. Listen, we on the bank. He's on a boat. But that just shows you. You don't need all the fancy stuff to be catching fish now. Looks like Noah takes the first round and he's in the lead for right now. But hopefully the next two rounds I can come back and put some points on the board. This is not good, guys. This is not good. Noah's got like a two pound lead on me. We're going to need one of them big ones to hopefully get back in this. But I'm feeling good because the next section is moving baits and then we got top water. I think the moving baits is gonna go crazy and the top water should be insane. And we made it to pond two, guys. We really need this one to go well for us. I'm not gonna lie, Noah got us in the first half, guys, or the first period, I should say. We got two more to go, and this is where I think things are gonna change for the better for us. But honestly, Noah's the, the luckiest fisherman I've ever met in my life. I've never seen someone be more of a big fish magnet than that kid right there. We'll be throwing the same thing, doing the same thing. No matter where we're at, he always manages to find the big bite. So. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. Let's slide that on in here. I'm just glad I got the boat. It's kind of funny though, because Noah's like more of a, a boat fisherman. That's his background. And I got the bank fishing background. So I don't know. I might be, I might've been better off on the bank, to be honest. All right, Fletch. Oh, <laughs> you got to win this round, man. Are you going to let me sweep you? Well, it's it's a grand total. So you're, you're oh, basically, yeah, it is. You're basically it is. Okay. two pounds ahead. Okay. Because your fish was how much? How much did it weigh? <laughs> we don't want to talk about it, but it was, it was one pound, 10 ounces. Hey, boy. <laughs> she was a few shad shy. We're about a pound and a half. Yeah, you, you got that, about a pound and a quarter. Ahead. You got a notable lead. I'm going to catch like a six here, man. Just I would actually cry. We're going to set a 30 minute, 15 second timer, though, because I got to get to my boat. And that starts now. All right. Okay. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and get down to my little boat and let's start fishing. I'm liking what we're doing here. Let's go ahead and fill these little guys up and get out to the good stuff. Let's see what we can do. This is honestly, don't get me wrong, like top order is the best. That's why the next spot's probably gonna be the best. But to be honest with you, I love moving baits and uh, I'm just glad to knock out the old bottom baits and, and get to action with something that we can reel. So we have a little sexy shad chick magnet and this thing's gonna get munched. All right, let's get started here. I'm gonna get slammed boys. If we don't get bit on this quick, I'm gonna like move really fast here. That's definitely the perk of me being on the bank here. I'm just going to literally walk and cast and cover as much productive water as I can. And if we don't get bit on this, you know, we'll put on like a lipless or something, start fan casting in the middle. We should get bit. Noah's already fishing, so we need to go ahead and get something tied up ASAP. 
You just not rigging up, Fletch? I had to purge out the air. I had to get in my boat. We got things to do. See, man? Unlike you, you can just kind of get started. The boat's kind of a process. Where do I want to go? That's the question. I kind of need to just use my, my live scope here and try to figure out where these fish are at. I think that's the move. Because they're kind of just out chasing bait. Not really a rhyme or reason to them as of right now. Oh, there's a ton of fish on this dock. I mean, a ton. Hold on, hold on. Well, let me readjust and go parallel to it, see if we can't run this thing. Biggins only. Okay, it seems like those dock fish are completely uninterested in me. Let's see if we can't find something that's a little bit more spicy. All right, guys, let's see what we can do. We had a couple boats right through here too. Start bombing that two tap out there. You know, there's a couple different ways we can do this. We can, we can beam it out there and just steadily retrieve it, just like this. Or we can beam it out there and just start ripping it. You know, this is so weird to me because this color, in my opinion, is ugly, man. Like, it's just not the color that I would pick. So there's like part of me that's like, maybe they just don't like the color or there's part of me that we need to like keep walking down the bank and go to a different section. But I don't know, I'm gonna throw it just for a couple more seconds and I'm probably gonna take the golf cart all the way off on that point. There's a big flat that some of these fish might be on. I see a lot of bait flicker, but we just haven't had anything bite us. Let's go ahead and go out to the golf cart and let's take it out to this point. There's a big flat there. Look at this though. So if those fish are out on that flat, it's gonna be prime. All right, boys, let's hop in the golf cart. Keep moving. So we're gonna make a move here really quick, guys. We're gonna go all the way across to where this grass line is on the far side. There's this big shallow flat, and I think we can probably pull a fish or two off of that thing. And the good news is Noah can't fish it at all. There is no bank access whatsoever. Pulling up in range, start firing. Gotta crank this thing across, trying to take the lead back. Our best chance right now is Noah's zeroing, which is gonna be hard, to be fair. I, I highly doubt he zeroes, but man, oh man, that would be nice. Oh, there we go, fish on. That's why we came over here to this little flat. Stay down. Oh yeah, that is more like it. And gosh, dude, can we just have a big one bite? I mean, what's up with these little pit squeaks? At least we didn't zero for pond number two. If Noah was a fish, this would be him. Just a little guy with big ambitions. Okay, one pound even, <laughs> right on the dot. Nothing special, but it counts. We're still behind Noah with two fish. That's awful. Only if we were going for numbers, but he just got lucky with that big one right in the final seconds. Oh no, oh, 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 oh my God, guys, that was like a seven pounder. Apparently I have a bad habit of missing big fish. I don't know if that will change, but what I do know is that it is possible to change bad habits to good ones. So let me introduce you to today's sponsor, Fume. Not everything in a bad habit is wrong. Fume replaces vapor, harmful chemicals, and electronics for all natural flavored air and a wide variety of delicious flavors. It's a habit you're free to enjoy and makes replacing your bad habits easy. Your fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial and is designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting, giving your fingers a lot to do. Stopping is something that we all put off because it's hard, but switching to fume is easy. Join fume in accelerating humanity's breakup from destructive habits by picking up the journey pack today. Head to tryfume.com slash Fletcher right now or scan the QR code and use my code Fletcher. They're having a great 20% off site-wide sale running from now through December 1st. And after that, you can still use my code to get 10% off. The Fume Solano was launched on November 6th. You can upgrade your journey pack to the Solano to enjoy the premium walnut barrel and onyx black coated mouthpiece that has a smoother finish and still get the discount. That's tryfum.com and use code Fletcher to get a discount on your order today. I am not kidding. I am not kidding. That fish was every bit of six or seven pounds. Holy smokes. He flashed and everything. That sucks. <laughs> My heart is broken. Please. Oh, oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Hit again. Hit it. Yes. Yes. We're on. We're on. That's a better fish. That's a better fish. She definitely got some size. Oh, yeah. We picked the right spot to come to, guys. Little torn up right now after missing that big fish, but we got a better one in the boat and that's probably gonna put us in the lead. Maybe, I don't know, really not that big. Bigger than the last one though. One pound, 
13 ounces. Best one yet. God, dude, I missed that giant. That sucks. Fletcher's got a dang fish, boys. So we got to catch something here. This is going to be the problem, is if we don't catch a fish, and end up zero in here because uh, at either one of these ponds, like this one or the next challenge, but we have to catch a fish. Even if it's only a pound, we have to keep adding weight onto it at the scale. All right, this is our time. And if they're not eating this thing, I might need to change this bait. Is that color? It's ugly. The ugliest color I've ever seen. Oh, I just choked so hard, guys. That would have been it. That would have been toasted. He would have had no shot. Absolute French toast. Keep on tossing around this flat. Try to avoid these bugs. They're really bad there by the bank. There's another fish. That one feels like the best one yet outside of the big one I just lost. She big. Oh, it's a big catfish. <laughs> Look at that, guys. Oh my goodness. Hey, we did not specify if this was a fishing challenge or a bass fishing challenge. <laughs> We're gonna weigh her. We'll let y'all decide if this counts or not in the comments below. She smoked it. Oh no, she's stuck. She's stuck on the live scope. Oh my god. Oh yeah, he's, he's got yeah, he's got a tank on. That's crazy crazy. Do you think it's a bass? Yeah, I know. I feel like he would be totally freaking out if that was a big bass. I don't know what it would be unless it's a big catfish. What does he got? I mean, he's grabbing the line with his hand. He's not doing what you'd think he would to land the bass. You know what I mean? Hey, Noah. What is it? We got a big one. Is it a bass? It's not a bass, but did we specify species? No, you cannot add a reptile. It's a catfish. Yeah, catfish definitely doesn't count, Flush. She's got some bait to her. All right, boys. I just need a fish man i need a bite i thought the moving bait bite was going to be just insane i haven't even had a bite i think i need to slow my lipless down it could be the color it's like getting in my head i'm like trying to figure out what factor it could be it could be there's no fish there it could be the color it could be the way i'm working it so many factors i'm trying to understand right now Oh, we beaming. We got our catfish off the hook. Tyler's coming in clutch with the gripper scale. Uh, my scale has been giving me a little bit of issues and it's kind of hard to get it set right. So with this big floppy girl and her tough gill plate, we're just gonna go for the gripper scale and see what she weighs. Come here, big girl. And 5.82 pounds. <laughs> Check that out right there. That is definitely some weight on the board. I'm thinking this is just a fishing challenge, guys. I did not specify bass fishing, if you're asking me. <laughs> I said, let, let us know in the comments below. We're gonna try to beat no with bass, but hey, I'll take the uh, consolation victory with the with the catfish if I just don't outright beat him with the with the bass. I'm gonna get this thing retied. And we're gonna keep on getting after him. Guess what, man? He's leaving it up to the the viewers to decide if it counts or not. <laughs> I think we all know what the viewers would say about that. If not, I should have fished with hot dogs, man. On the bottom bait, you know. I'm at a loss right now, guys. I'm really trying to figure out what I should do. Should we just risk it for the biscuit and throw the big swim bait on there? I don't know what size Fletcher got for his fish, but I'm gonna tell you, if I get a bite on it, I think it's gonna be what we need. Let's see. Old chatter dunk, do you wonders. My favorite bait of all time. All tied up here, guys. We're getting right back into the action on this flat over here. That catfish was nice and <laughs> definitely helped us put some points on the board. If y'all consider counting that, you know, I would appreciate if y'all in the comment section say the catfish counts. Don't let me persuade you. Yeah, these bugs got me dancing. Feel like I got ants in my pants. We got about 12, 13 minutes left. Ate through about half our time and we're making good progress. Noah doesn't even have one on the board, I don't think. So, I mean, this is, this is going splendid for us. All right, boys, I'll put a rage crawl on the back of it now. I took that swim bait off, it was like swimming a little funny. Just hope that we get a bite right here. I don't, I don't really care how big the fish is. I need something. All right, boys, there's a little point up there by the bridge. I'm gonna run up to it real quick because we're running out of time. I might have to move spots, guys. The fishing is so good here, but I am getting destroyed. I've almost fished it out. Let's keep on moving. We're gonna go down this way and try a hump that's out here. Usually tends to be pretty scrumptious. All right, boys, we're gonna go up by the bridge, throw off the point. We're gonna get a bite there. What, is that water? That's water getting pumped in, man. Maybe we're stopping before the bridge. Oh my God, dude. Mega, no way. You got to be jerking my leg right now. Freaking monster, man. 
I might come back and haunt us, guys. The fact that I like randomly stumbled upon this too, like I wasn't even coming to it, that would've been insane. I can't believe that freaking bite, man. He just decided not to eat it. I wanted to give that spot the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna throw one or two casts right here, then we're just gonna go right out on that point. I think that's where we're gonna get bit. That would've been a nice fish to have. That was definitely bigger than that first one I caught. Massive boil. Oh, how the turntables have turned. Noah came out the gate hot, got ahead in the first round, but little did you know I was gonna come back swinging and round number two. We got one more round to go though. We're gonna see what he's made of. Fish do not seem to be on the hump, unfortunately. Let's go back to the tree line. Oh, there's one. There's one down the tree line. Feel small. Oh, it's actually got some size. Dude, that one felt smaller than like most of the ones we've caught today. She was hardly fighting. Well, she just swallowed that two tap. But maybe no just picked the wrong bait because clearly he's doing something wrong. So I'm smoking him. All right, boys, keep moving. We'll go out to this little point. This is gonna be the spot. I feel it. Here goes nothing. Ooh. Dude, all right, we're seeing some activity on this point. I saw a boil right there and I saw like some bait flicker. I'm trying to be as patient as I can with these fish. Oh my, totally missed it, dude. I mean, like, I, I don't know what to say. He had the whole back of it right off that tree. Dude, I watched that fish come up and everything. Went to hook set, nothing there. Man, I just can't believe, like, not any short strikes, not, these fish are just being so odd. I wonder if he's had any bites after that. Oh yeah, that's a fat daddy. Cranked, check that thing all the way down the gullet. Get that out of there. All right, let's get a quick weight on this girl. This one might be our best bass so far. Get a quick weight on her. Two pounds, 11 ounces. Not too shabby. <laughs> we will take that and get her right back in. She's bleeding a little bit. Wanted her to be able to swim right on along. I'm feeling good now, guys. <laughs> I'm feeling like the pressure's off of me. <laughs> oh my God, they're just munching. <laughs> Holy cow, dude, I, two taps a magnet. If you, if you haven't thrown a two tap at this point in your life, you're doing yourself a disservice because it is probably my favorite bass fishing lure of all time. But that fish is not gonna help us, so we're gonna let her on go. Gonna go over towards Noah. I think we have about four or five minutes left, so hopefully we can get one more nibble before this timer runs out. It's been a little bit of a dry spell. All right, Fletcher, so we just got a couple minutes left. We gotta start moving, guys. I have that bite right here. It's just been brutal. I've seen Fletcher smoke them over on that other side. I don't know if it's the side of the bank, if it's the bait, if it's the color, but I, just, I really haven't had many bites at all over here. We had that one bite over by the water moving, which made sense, and that was a that was a nice fish. Kind of worked my way back over towards where Noah is. I don't know if he's caught one or not yet. <laughs> I hope he has it, because I've been having the time of my life this round. I told you things were gonna change. <laughs> Let's go. You got one right there? <laughs> right in front of you, dude. I've been smoking them. Yeah, they're not wanting the chatterbait. I've thrown there, I couldn't tell you how many times. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Have you caught one yet? No, dude. They won't eat this thing. I haven't even had a bite on it, but. Dude, you can add this one to your total if you want to. <laughs> Roll on it. Here, just throw, throw your lure over here. I'll, I'll, let, I'll hook him up for you. You'll just put him on? Yeah, you can get a nice 10 ounces on that weight. <laughs> Get out of here, dude. <laughs> oh, I got a bush. <laughs> well, this round's gonna be over any minute now, so you better hurry up and catch one. I'm gonna be honest, Fletch, with the amount of bites I had, I don't think I'm going to catch one tonight. <laughs> Technically, I could count my catfish because this is not a bass fishing competition, but I'm gonna exclude that from my weight total and that is it. <laughs> just go with the bass. Well, let's go ahead and go on to round number three. It's time to break out the top waters, see if we can't seal the deal. I gotta get a five pounder, boys. I knew this was gonna happen to one of us. One of us was gonna actually goose egg and I happened to goose egg in what I would think would have been the easiest round to catch a fish, but I still have hope I can catch a five, six pounder on top water. Or Fletcher Zero. Is this, it's a possibility. We've made it to the third and final spot. It is the top water round and 30 minutes starts now. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and get into the boat and see if we can't get something rolling out here on this pond. All right, boys, I got a lot to catch up on. I kind of messed up on the moving bait round, which is crazy. You would think that would be the easiest round for me to just get a good fish on, but surprisingly it wasn't. So we have a lot of ground to make up. I want to say Fletcher is just like a, pound, a little over a pound ahead of me. So if I get a really good fish, I'm still in the game here. And here goes nothing, guys. Let's pop off the mock patroller. Looking nice and saucy. It's nice and sunny now because it's 
it's the next day actually we ran out of daylight yesterday to finish up our last 30 minute block so we're right back at it the next day and hopefully with this chrome plopping bait in the sun whoo, should be saucy hopefully there's something that wants to nibble somewhere around here for me i'm glad we're going into this third and final round with the lead i can't believe noah zeroed in the moving bait round that's just tough man that was the one round that i felt like both of us would catch a lot of fish and i was just hoping to come out on top with the bigger one but the man zero the boat really showed its worth in that round to be able to get to some spots that noah couldn't get to and honestly i think it's going to be the toughest round yet for noah because there's very limited areas for him to fish around this entire body of water there's a few cut-ins where he can kind of get in and get some cast and they're actually pretty good areas but he's definitely limited to what he can fish versus me i got this whole pond i can hit all these three lines get anywhere i want to so hopefully that's a difference maker i wonder what he's going with for our top water bait so we have some poppers here we got some frogs we got an old wake bait got some more popping pickles right here we got some black walking baits and then right here we have a regular sexy dog that is in sexy shad with a little bit of chrome on the bottom i think that is going to be our best bet to catch a fish right now so we're going to go ahead and tie this on not only do i think is it going to be a really good bait for us to catch a fish on but i think it's going to catch a big fish i've had a lot of good luck with walking baits so that is what we're going to go with all right tie this up real quick a little uni knot there we go. We are good to go. All right, boys. There's got to be a fish in this area. I wish there was a little bit of ripple or something going back in this corner. But I'll tell you, if we get a bite on this walking bait, it's going to be a big one. And for us to win this, we have to catch a big one, man. I made a mistake last round. we got to redeem ourselves. We're keeping our heads high, and we'll make it happen. Just keep working our way up this way, guys. See what we can make happen. No action so far. Been a little dormant. The weather conditions yesterday were definitely more favorable for the the fall bite by all means. In the fall, you want cool weather, overcast, and wind. And we had a little bit of all that, but today it is hot, sunny, and no wind. So <laughs> the exact opposite of what you want. I just cannot afford to zero. If I zero and know it gets just something from the bake, I'm gonna be embarrassed for the rest of my life. <laughs> it will not be good. We're about a pound ahead right now, so I have a little pressure off my back, which is nice. If I'm being honest, <laughs> I like having the lead. I was a little nervous going into round two, being down quite a bit, but going into round three. The lead makes me feel good. Hopefully something. Oh my golly. Holy schmoly. That fish crushed that thing. All right, boys, we're going to pack up real quick and keep moving. We do not have much time and I don't want to get caught up on one spot. So let's pack this thing up real quick. Get in the golf cart. Start moving. Oh my gosh. Massive gator, boys. That was a megalodon. A megalodon of a gator. There's two of them. That thing kind of freaked me out, bro. I think I freaked it out. All right, boys, let's start fishing. I'm trying to not get a gator. The one thing that sucks is you see all this pine straw. So that's one thing that's, that might hold us back just a little bit. We're gonna throw down this bank though. See if we can get any bites. This is actually a big flat. So this should be a good spot. Oh no, a gator likes that. Why does, why do I gotta meet a gator on the top water edition? Why, why does that gotta happen? No, dude, please, please. Like, <laughs> dude, I feel like anything that could go wrong for me in these last two little sessions is, don't mess with me, man. One thing I do like is look at all this shit shade man ton of shade right here oh that looks money as long as i just don't get in the pine straw oh there's another gator bro and it's a freaking angry big and dude holy cow stop he was pissed off stay down stay down baby stay down all right we're not gonna zero that's good news as long as we get this fish in the boat that puts us in a pretty good place and boom bada bing we got the job done and it's a chunky boy too come here come here that's what i'm talking about okay all right where are my pliers at there we go that fish was pissed off. <laughs> Holy smokes, guys. She hammered that thing. There we go. Got it out. Bell time. <laughs> that took a second. Saying like a high two. Okay. What's your weight, big girl? Two pounds, 10 ounces. Heck yeah, guys. That's what I'm talking about. Not a bad fish at all. Let's go ahead and get her back in. Keep the ball rolling. That puts us about three pounds and some change ahead of Noah. And hopefully we can just keep it that way. We're only a few minutes into this challenge, so hopefully they just keep on coming and we catch even bigger one than that i don't even know if i can risk my bet that cast looks so good dude these gators are just gonna be crazy like that one right there i can try one more cast it's just if i hook a fish look at him go right over to yeah this is all right fish don't eat it don't eat it fish oh my god he's so angry boys <laughs> 
Dude, chill out. These things are bad, bro. All right, we're moving spots. This is not, this ain't even fishable, bro. Between the pine straw and gator axe. I'm gonna try one more cast, actually. Dude, that thing's angry, bro. What in the world? This just got me all torn up. Why is that water moving so much? There was a gator bigger than both of those that was on this bank originally. Dude, they are coming. Okay, yeah, this is not fishable. He's coming at 30 miles an hour. Bro, he is cooking, boy. Stop it, bro. I don't like that, man. I ain't afraid of gators, but that thing is just, he's moving, bro. That gator is mean, man. That is a mean one. I saw the water start moving right here where I was walking, and I'm pretty sure that other big gator that's bigger than both of those was coming up, so it's probably best that we just leave this spot. But with this sun being super high right now, the fish are more than likely going to be like hugging these tree lines being up in the shade and whatnot I, or they're going to be out deep just like dormant on the bottom and i don't think they're going to come up to eat this top water like 10 foot from the bottom so i think our best chance is just to keep on hitting these bank lines and hopefully we're able to piece something together this is one of the very few small bank fishing spots now that has access to oh my gosh oh he really he really hurt himself in that last pond by not getting one on the moving baits all right, on the stop number four, maybe our luck will change. I don't think this uh, zero wind and sun up this whole time is helping this topwater bite by any means. We just gotta risk our luck out here in the middle and hope there's just a random bass cruising. Oh, there's a huge fish. I'm, I don't know if you guys can see though, that's definitely a carp though. Just imagine, a <laughs> carp comes up, just destroys it. We can only dream, boys, we can only dream. All right, that's all she wrote. Some more leaves and pine straw. I think we need to make a run all the way on the other side of this lake. Hopefully Fletcher hasn't made it to the other side. So we've been at this for a minute now. The clock is ticking. We might have like 20 to 15 minutes left. I'm not exactly sure where. Holy cannoli, a giant fish just blew up way out in front of me, like way off in the horizon. We're just gonna keep an eye on that spot. Maybe there's some shad in that area. Work our way up to it. That just looks like a 10 pounder home. Something's gotta be up in here. All this shade, these tree lines. Getting dialed in now, guys. Trying to be as efficient as I can with my time. All right, here goes nothing, boys. I see Fletcher over there. I'm hoping he didn't fish this pocket. Massive, massive one, massive one. He just never had it, bro. I tried to walk back up on the bank, gave him a little bit of pressure, man. And he just flung it. He had that back hook. Gosh, he really wanted that thing too, man. That could have been us winning the whole challenge there, depending on what Fletcher's obviously caught. I gotta redeem myself here, guys. I really need another bite. I'm trying to stay positive, boys. We don't have too much more time. I'm just praying for another good bite, you know, somewhere right here. Maybe uh, catch another fish. There's gotta be more than one in this pocket. All right, boys, switching game plan. I'm gonna stop throwing this walking bait. I've had a good bite on it, and that's really what's gonna take for us to win the challenge. But at this point, man, I just want to get a fish. Here we go, we got a good little popper. There we go, that's money, dude. Let's tie up this popper real quick. Yes, hello, hello. I knew you could do it. I knew you could do it, patroller. That is another good fish, guys. That might be our first one. Come on, come on, stay on, baby. Stay on there. Let me get you in the boat. Let me get you in the boat. Oh, heck yes. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna be an upgrade or not, guys, but that is certainly a quality fish right there. Let me grab my, my pliers and pop that out of there. Let's throw her on the scale. All zeroed out. Two pounds, 10 ounces. Looks like we caught the exact same fish, guys. <laughs> Another quality fish, we'll take it though. Some action was much appreciated because these fish have been tough. Only a few more minutes to go, so let's get back to it and not waste any time. All right, boys, this is it. I barely have any time left and i'm about to catch one right now just give me give me one or two casts we're gonna do it here there's actually not a ton of leaves here feeling good about it if we can somehow make a good cast under this tree i know we're gonna get bit that's it this is it come on there's no leaves no nothing shade trees it looks so good oh my goodness i just skipped a popper somehow i have no idea how but maybe this is the cast come on fish i just need you to eat it we're cutting down to the minutes here boys you just gotta keep moving okay final stretch we made our way back to where we actually got started here and i caught my first fish i think this was exactly the same spot anyone else home please i don't know where noah's at right now but it is coming down to the final few minutes here i'm taking a cast up there Give me a look no 
Mine trolls are working against me. Kind of tough. Just one more bite, guys. That would be fantastic. Here goes nothing. Probably our last cast. Anything home. I think that should be enough to secure the dub. Come on. Come back. Oh, there goes the timer. We literally got to bite our last cast. And there goes Noah. <laughs> oh, no. All right, Noah, be honest with me. What's the damage? The timer just went off. Goose egg, bro. Zero. Zero. Well, it looks like we got the dub, guys. Better luck next time.